There's about 1 million seats reserved for engineering students in the US, yet only about 70,000 a year graduate. Over half of the students who sign up just drop out, and many of them switch to business. In fact, every day there are countless memes generated about how hard engineering is and about how many students switch to business. But why do so many give up? And for those masochists who make it till graduation, why? Now, a quick Google search will show that the reason is rigor. And this is a vague term usually referring to how hard the classes are, how screwed you are for not taking high school physics, and how screwed you are if you have bad studying habits. But what if I told you that's not the case? The problem with engineering school is not so much the technical work. It's not really the math and physics. I mean, don't get me wrong, the classes are really hard. And yes, they are time demanding, but with proper repetition and the right resources, anything can be learned. I mean, it's not that hard. The real problem resides in two things, environment, and psychology. As soon as you enter into an engineering class and you look around you, you're gonna see two kinds of students. You're gonna see those who are totally lost, just like yourself, and you're gonna say, great, I'm not the only one. But then you're gonna look to the other side and you're gonna see those students who just seem to get it, who just get it naturally. And they tend to put very little effort and they get the problems right and they get the best exam scores. Wait, am I cut out for this? Is this the right thing for me? Why is it so hard for me? And this is where problem number two begins, and that is the self-doubt, the obsession of, am I good enough? Is this the right thing for me? Why am I not getting this right? And then getting so emotionally charged on why things are so hard and wondering if this is the right thing for you to do. And then you look left and right and everybody's getting all those internships and you basically have absolutely nothing. And then the cycle continues. You start feeling worse about yourself and it's just a never ending loop. Then the classes get really hard. Think about your brain as your brain has very finite energy. So if you're spending a lot of time doubting yourself, you have very little brain energy left to actually solve the problem. And thus the students who seem to get it, they just put more time towards practice since they're not emotionally charged. And the students who struggle end up doubting themselves even more and getting more emotionally charged and thus struggle more. Now, once you can learn to emotionally manage your brain, you can spend less time worrying and more time problem solving. Now that's much easier said than done. And it's not quite that simple. And I actually made a separate video about that. So let's check it out.